Hi Fangerines, it's Amy. I'm in the studio and today I thought it'd be fun to share some projects using my favorite supply. Well, one of my favorite supplies, washi tape, which I am sure that many of you have a vast collection as well. Washi tape is a Japanese tape that I started collecting and falling in love with years ago when I first saw it at a store on Abbott Kinney. I had a few crafting friends who had also talked about it on their blogs and I became obsessed with washi tape. And I think that probably there are some of you who are nodding your heads right now who are feeling the exact same way. So why not take one of our favorite supplies and make something together? Let's do it! One of the questions I most frequently get asked is how I store my washi tape. Well, sometimes I keep them on a ring or I have them in one of these wooden boxes by Already Memories. Even though I have tons of washi tape, I always seem to collect more. I can't resist buying them. These are all from We Are Memory Keepers and I'll probably mix them in with older ones that I've had for a while like these. With a general idea in mind of what I want to do, I've got a piece of American Crafts white cardstock and some of my favorite red and pink washi tapes. I'm just going to tear strips and lay them along the top here. Whoops! The good thing about washi tape too is that it's very forgiving so if you mess up a lot like I do then it's okay because it lifts up pretty easily. So then once I have it lined up I do want to press it firmly down in place. With this extra strip right here, I'm taking it and putting it on another sheet of cardstock that I have off to the side. I have a general plan of attack here, but I'm going to see how it turns out. And like I said before, the washi tape can be forgiving, so if you get tangled like I just did, it's okay to just untangle yourself and then stick it down. Another great feature about washi tape is that it is translucent. It comes in all kinds of shapes, patterns, sizes, widths, and colors. So I'm just laying down the ones that I feel are fun and I want to go sort of in a rainbow order. And I think that if you have your favorite tapes, I would say to definitely use them up. Don't worry about running out too quickly. I think it's one of those things where a lot of it comes on a roll. This wood one was one of my favorite tapes years ago and I'm trying to use it. And unfortunately, I'm not sure if it's because of the weather conditions or the situation in the studio. I have no idea what it is, but unfortunately this tape is not working out. So I'm going to try to take it off of this dowel right here and attempt to tear off a strip that's usable enough for this sheet or either the small sheet that I'm starting as well. So I'm just trying to peel it off as much as I can, but I just gave up. And this roll I am giving up on too because it's just not splitting. While I don't mind it tearing, I can't get a long enough strip for either sheet. So unfortunately, I do have to toss these out. I'm making it a rule that there's no point in keeping something that does not work. And of course, I'm trying this one too, and I have no idea why, but unfortunately, it's not tearing off either. So I'm going to have to use my newer rolls that I am kind of leaning towards anyway, but it's really kind of upsetting about the other ones, and I tend to collect and keep stuff, not because I think I'm going to run out, just because I like it. And so maybe this is a good lesson for all of us to use our supplies. Okay, so this piece I had a problem with at the beginning, but I found that it's still salvageable and tears off nicely, so I'm going to keep this roll. Plus, it's one of my favorite ones because of the thickness of it. Unfortunately, I also ran out of space on my memory card, but did not realize it until I had gotten all the way down here. So basically, you can just take your favorite washi tapes, lay them down in strips in any kind of order you want. I choose a rainbow order because I think it looks very seamless and nice and it just kind of goes with what's happening right now. I think I'm seeing a lot of rainbow effects and I just think it makes me happy basically. <laughs> um, when it boils down to it, that's what crafting is about. It's about making you happy, having a creative outlet where you can use your supplies, express your creativity and get your ideas down on 
paper is something that I enjoy doing, but maybe it's a different medium that you prefer. Anyway, so I'm just going to continue laying these down. I'm going to fast forward a little bit. Oh wait, I am not going to fast forward because I realized that this foxy washi tape um, has a really cute design and pattern and I wanted to put this yellow down, but then I remembered that this Fox actually does this neat thing where you can connect it and make them into uh, long strips and attach the fox design. So I thought that was really cool. I got the fox design when I was in Barcelona. It's by Laura Biora and it's adorable. All the links are below of the supplies that are still available now that I know of. So once I've got my sheet here, I'm taking another piece of cardstock. You'll see that this side has a little bit of sun damage, so I'm going to focus on the other side, but it doesn't really matter because I'm just taking this jelly roll pen by Sakura and I'm going to make this into templates. I'm freehand drawing some hearts. You could definitely do the old school way of folding a piece of paper in half and then using your thumb as a stencil, but I really wanted these hearts to look kind of wonky and hand drawn. While I'm not a perfectionist, I know that some of you out there are, so I recommend just googling a heart template that you could get off of Google Images and print it out and use it as your design to cut out a bunch of hearts. So now I am just not taking too much care on being exact about getting on the line while I'm cutting these out, mainly because as I mentioned before, I like the handcrafted wonkiness of it. So I'm going to take this along with a pencil and draw a bunch of hearts on the back of this sheet. So the hearts are used as a template, so you definitely want to like the ones that you've chosen or cut out. I want to make the most of the real estate back here, so I'm turning some of them upside down, and I'm going to leave a section where I'm not gonna draw some hearts because I have an idea of what I wanna do with that part, which is right here. So now I'm just cutting out these hearts, and then I'm going to show you the big reveal. Those hearts are really fun. I'm going to set them aside and focus on this strip that I'm going to trim to about three inches wide and um, four inches long, but I have in mind something to do with that section with all the foxes. And I'm just going to throw that away even though I kind of like the way it looks and I want to keep it for some reason, but I'm not going to. Because the foxes are just too cute not to include, I want to trim it so that I have all of them in this section. I am trimming this down to three by four because at first I thought I was gonna make this journaling card type thing, but then after I trimmed this off to a square, I decided to set that aside and grab my heart punch to try and see if we could punch through the cardstock as well as the washi tape. This punch is by Martha Stewart, and I've had it for a few years, so I'm not sure if it's still available. I wanted to set it in here, and the magnets hold it together in place, and then I have to punch and squeeze all the way down really hard, and then it looks like it's stuck together, but it pops right off, and I have now a heart cutout. So that looks really cute. I'm just gonna clean up these pieces and then let's focus on the fox design. I want to have a heart inside that's just on the fox part of it. So I'm taking my template and I think I'm gonna draw it on the back, but then I can't really see where I want it on the front. So I'm just going to try the pencil over the heart and the washi tape to see if it'll show through enough for me to cut out somehow. A big part of the creative process for me is experimenting with things and just trying to see if it works because you never know, plus you might find a better way to do things. This is a new product that I got from CHA, it's the Gyro Cut, and I tried it out at CHA, but this is the first time I'm going to be using it in the studio, and it comes with this little plastic cover. Essentially, it is a cutting blade that does really well with curves. So I'm just gonna test it out on this cardstock here. You hold it like a pencil or a pen, and it takes a little bit of getting used to, but it is fairly intuitive once you get the hang of it. So I might do another video that goes more in depth, but I just wanted to try this out because I get really excited about trying out new products and using them instead of saving them and waiting for the perfect moment to 
do so. Um, yeah, so it looks like it cuts pretty well, and I think I just need to press a little bit harder and go through both layers of the washi tape and the cardstock here. So I'm starting off at the bottom, and then I'm just going to work my way around. And I'm sorry you can't really see the details of what's happening. I probably have to have the camera angled a little bit differently next time. But the good news is that it worked, and I think we have a new favorite tool. I wanted to try to back this with this pattern paper, but it's not really working for me. So I think this manila tag is actually better going to stick it down with this American Crafts Sticky Thumb Adhesive that I am just really enjoying using even though it's kind of a little bit more permanent than I'd like because I tend to mess up a lot but once you stick it down you don't have to completely commit you can lift it up I think within a few minutes um, and then if you want to press it down to make sure it's firm then you can also do that trimming off the edges with my paper trimmer I think that this is going to be really cute and I don't know why I flipped it over this side I should have probably kept it on the other side to make sure I was not trimming part of the tag off like I just did lesson learned okay moving on I want to take this Japanese pen that was designed just to write on washi tape and I'm adding some simple stitches around the heart to make it look like it was stitched on and then I just want to put a little message here it took me a while to figure out so I sat there with my pen kind of just twirling it around and then it came to me and I wrote you foxy thing next I'm grabbing this piece of this puzzle that I haven't given to Jack yet and I want to grab that other piece of paper that we started with the smaller strips of the excess washi tape and I want to have the silhouette of the state of California on it so I was trying to decide whether I was going to stick it on the back and trace it or on the front to trace it but then finally I decided to put it on the back at this angle and just see how it turns out. I want to make sure that all my area is covered with washi tape and it looks like it is. If you don't have a puzzle piece like this then I recommend just googling your state or country that you want to use the silhouette from and then you can print it out and make a template onto cardstock and then trace it and cut it. So let's see how this turns out. I think it looks really cute. There's another product that I'm excited to try. This is the new DIY shop gold stapler because everybody loves gold right now and who doesn't love mini staples? So I'm just gonna open up this package and show you how to load it. It comes with a set of staples already in it, and it's such a pretty stapler. It's a heavyweight stapler. It feels really sturdy. What you do is you take out this part of it, and then you slide the staples right in, and then this piece goes back with the notch side up, and you have to hold it in place with one hand, and then the spring will pop that little piece down in, and you've got it ready to go. All right, so I'm taking this other piece that we set aside earlier, and I want to back it with some pink. Since I don't know exactly what I'm doing, I wasn't sure if I wanted the pink showing or not around the square, but then I decided to make it small enough so it just covers the heart behind it. And I'm going to add adhesive to the back and stick it together. You could definitely cut it bigger and have a border around it if you like that look. Now I'm going to just attach it with the stapler and I like to put two staples right next to each other a little bit offset and I'm going to do that at the top and the bottom and now looking back on this I probably should have just left it as is because I think it's super cute but I wanted to try to see if I could make an X and so I did it here and it turned out pretty cute and I wanted to balance it off with another one up here. You can play with your stapler to add different accents and designs and I believe that American Crafts has a whole pack of different colored staples as well that I want to get my hands on. I am going to use the marker once again and then just fill in a message inside the heart and then write Happy Valentine's Day Sweetheart on the bottom.
Finally, also decided on what to do with the state cutout and decided to make a little tag for a package that I have to send out to somebody in Canada. So I think that these are great to use for any occasion, obviously not just Valentine's Day. You could definitely use them for any kind of gift if you want to add a quick little handmade touch. I think it's very personalized and super fun and cute. With all of those hearts that we cut out earlier, I thought it'd be fun to do an assembly line style for Valentine's Day tags for Jack's friends. Now, I wanted to add some stamping to it, so I'm grabbing this heart by Kelly Perky and these little inks, and it looks like I haven't cleaned off my stamp, so I'm not sure what's gonna happen, but oh, that is not the right color. Taking a baby wipe, but then I suddenly remembered I have this Lawn Fawn chamois. I shimmied for a chamois at CHA. I will link the video below, and this is a new product. I think it's so brilliant. It comes a little bit damp, so I don't know if I need to add extra water, but let me just try it here. Oh yeah, so it looks like I have to add my own water, which what is what you have to do, and that's what they told us we had to do, but um, that's how we can keep our stamps clean now. I'm so excited. Hopefully this will keep me on top of cleaning my stamps. I know some of you have made comments about why I don't clean my stamps, and it's utter laziness. That's, that's it. I know it's not so hard to use a baby wipe to do it, but really with this new product, the Lawn Fawn Chamois, I'm so excited about cleaning and making it a habit to do so every single time after I use my stamps. Instilling good creative habits like cleaning up after yourself is something that I just have never really been that good at. I think that it's a practice and hopefully you will help me stay accountable and together we can keep this place creative and crafty and also somewhat clean. All in all, these took about two hours to complete, but if you find yourself with some extra time in front of the TV, or if you want to get your friends or even kids involved, it's a fun activity to share with others. Plus, you get to use those awesome washi tapes. I really want to be more mindful of the supplies that I'm using and holding on to and hoarding, especially after seeing the fact that so many of them aren't working anymore and I had to toss them. So I'm really hoping that you all feel inspired to use your supplies, get those favorite washi tapes, and don't just hold on to them, actually put them to great use and get creative. That was really fun and I hope you enjoyed watching all those little fun heart projects come together. It was really fun making them in the studio with you. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments or interesting ideas, please leave them below. I love reading what you have to say and I will talk with you soon. Are those the Valentines you're going to give your friends? What's this? It's a Valentine. Do you like it? Yeah. Cute, right? Not now. Later? Okay. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Who doesn't love washi tape? It's so fun. <laughs> Can I say fun one more time? You crafty little fox. Thanks for watching.